Hey everybody, Corey here on the Wolfpack Podcast. I'm currently at Toys R Us. thought I'd do a new segment for the show where we take a look at the Star Wars Rebels displays, which is right up there. So you can already see the Inquisitor. I'm going to take a look at the section right over here. So, wow, look at all this. They've really expanded it. So here's the uh, chopper alarm clock. This is pretty cool. Look at all these Inquisitors. Dang. Darth Vader. Clone. The Black Series pack scene. They're not on sale. I know they are online. They also have Legos in the section now. Rebels Tupperware. It's like an exclusive. Looks like my Toys R Us is kind of designed differently than others. They don't have the Rebels characters up there. But here, a TIE pilot. The big Kanan figure. Ezra. I don't see a shelf spot yet for the Rebels pack. So that kind of stinks. was kind of hoping that it would be here. But it is not. So that's okay. Here's the Inquisitor. Let's take a look at the uh, display as well. Inquisitor. Oh, look at all this command. That's so sad. They even got a little lightsaber end cap here. This is interesting, the uh, Rebels mission game. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's see if they have any Rebels vehicles. Nope. My Toys R Us really stinks. <laughs> Nothing. That's a shame. Got talking plushes, no Rebels plushes yet. <coughs> so yeah, for Rebels reset, there's not much Rebels here. So, definitely a shame. Um, definitely bad on Hasbro's part, and there should be Rebels figures here, but instead, they do a reset with uh, barely any Rebel stuff. You know, I mean, there is a lot of Rebel stuff, but nothing too great. This is cool. Alright guys. Uh, may the force be with you, and if I stumble across anything else here, I will record it. Alright, may the force be with you.